today's prayer will actually be two scripture chapters out of the book of Isaiah. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 60 followed by chapter 61 from the New King James Version. And this will be our prayer, our plea, our declaration, our decree, our proclamation, and manifestation of the good plans of God for us. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The multitude of camels shall cover your land. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall proclaim the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together to you. The rams of Nabaioth shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these who fly like a cloud and like doves to their roosts? Surely the coastlands shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish will come first to bring your sons from afar, their silver and their gold with them, to the name of the Lord your God and to the Holy One of Israel, because he has glorified you. The sons of foreigners shall build up your walls and their kings shall minister to you. For in my wrath, I struck you, but in my favor, I have had mercy on you. Therefore, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in procession. For the nation and kingdom which will not serve you shall perish. And those nations shall be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you, the cypress, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Also, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you. And all those who despised you shall fall prostrate at the soles of your feet, and they shall call you the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated so that no one went through you, I 
will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. You shall drink the milk of the Gentiles and milk the breast of kings. You shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I will bring gold. Instead of iron, I will bring silver. Instead of wood, bronze. Instead of stones, iron. I will also make your officers peace and your magistrates righteousness. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders, but you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no longer be the light. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give you light to you, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you. But the Lord, the Lord will be to you an everlasting light and your God, your glory. Your sun shall no longer go down nor your moon withdraw itself for the Lord will be your everlasting light and the days of your mourning shall be ended. Also, your people shall be righteous. Your people shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. Now Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And they shall rebuild the old ruins, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the foreigner shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers, but you shall be named the priests of the Lord. They shall call you the servants of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boast. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I will direct their work in truth and will make with them an everlasting covenant. Their descendants shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. 
all who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the posterity whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its bud. As the garden causes the things that are sown in it to be spring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Amen and amen. And may God bless his word. For his word shall go forth and accomplish all that he desires. Thank you for joining me. Amen.